Hi, this is a quick demo of using the script tag extract. Uh, I'll first show you how to use it with interview data and then with notes from a literature review. So let's say you took uh, interviewed a bunch of people and you transcribed the notes and you took notes. So this is a very simple example of that. We have a few people here with pseudonyms and we have some of the statements that they made about how they take notes. Uh, you could type this in the normal uh, text editor or you could use a tool that's uh, designed for, high, for uh, outlining. For example, uh, you could type it in uh, Omni Outliner, which can read the text file and understand the structure of it. Or uh, you could use something like Task Paper. And you see that both uh, OmniFocus and Task Paper understand. So this is just exactly the same text file from uh, the text editor. Uh, which I loaded into these programs and they just understand um, the structure um, and you see also that I have the name here in this kind of a syntax and uh, that could easily be changed but that's just how it's set up right now so basically what I want to do is to be able to tag of this information in some way so that I can extract it and uh, sort it uh, for example I see here that uh, Stian is talking about the wiki and Christian is also talking about the wiki. You see it uh, autocompletes here. And uh, Peter is talking about printing. And that's about it. So I'm going to just save this. And uh, I'm going to feed this through tag extract. And it generates a new file. Now, if we open that in task paper, we see that it sorted it by keywords. So if I want to write about wiki, then Stian said something about the wiki and Crescentia said something. If I want to talk about printing, Peter said something uh, about maps. There's two statements about collaboration. There's one statement. And then it collects everything that wasn't tagged down here. Now, we could imagine doing the same thing for um, papers. So let's say I've been reading a bunch of papers and I've been taking notes on them. And you see here, this is just my uh, BibTeX site key, a unique key for each paper. Uh, so I'll keep that there and you see that I'm taking the notes here and uh, I've put in some tags already and the important point here is that uh, this tag will not only catch this line but also all the inserted indented line after that okay so I have quite a lot of text here a bunch of different publications bunch of different tags again um, you can use this autocomplete so if I want complexity here you see it autocompletes very nicely now, once I have this file, I can go and process it. 72 tags, okay, so I went a bit overboard. Now, if we open this file, and we see here that it's uh, already loaded, and we have uh, everything that's written about learning, we have from the different papers. So it picks up the name of the paper. At the very bottom, we have the papers that, uh, or the lines that uh, were not tagged, and we also have the ones that didn't have a site key, um, so lines that didn't uh, weren't preceded with uh, with a uh, citation key. And just to show you that you can also uh, output in DocuWiki format. Here you see the uh, raw text of the DocuWiki formatting. Um, and uh, if I uh, show this, uh, you see here that it's still the site keys, but because DocuWiki understands these site keys when I save it. Um, I get uh, both a nice table of contents here and of course uh, all these site keys uh, have um, uh, popovers with a full bibliography I can jump directly to the paper that came from uh, and so on so this tool can really be adopted to a lot of different contexts instead of uh, creating a uh, output file in the format of uh, task paper we can create an output file um, in the format of Scrivener and this actually creates um, a folder uh, so we see here it's a folder and it contains one file per tag okay so it just has uh, the line that was tagged or the lines that were tagged and then in this case we've actually put the citation at the back now the advantage of this is that we can very easily import all of these to Scrivener so if we are uh, writing an article in Scrivener we could simply uh, drag this folder into the research folder here and it will import all the different notes like this 
So if we want to start writing, we can uh, create a new article here. I'll uh, write something about connectivism first, and I'll open the section on connectivism. And here we see all the different uh, snippets that we took and where they came from. So, for example, uh, and in this way, you have very easily accessible uh, all the notes that you need at any one point. So that's it. Just a, a quick little tool. It's a Ruby script. You can uh, bunch of regex. But you can quickly modify it to suit you, whether uh, you know exactly the the markup that you use or the final formatting that you want. Um, there it is. Thanks.